Hey guys! All right, we have a fun video for today. I had this unopened box of jewelry that I've had since it was shipped on 2-5-2021. This is when I was first getting into buying jewelry. So we're going to go through this and see, did I do a good job back then or was this box a big mistake? So I have to admit, I have opened this box and saw the first couple pieces because it got mixed in with some other boxes that I was opening. But I only saw just the top couple pieces. Ooh, sorry for hitting the camera. But I think this will be fun. Alright. First piece that I did see, and I was actually really happy with, is this nice wood beaded necklace. I was like, yeah, that's got a great boho look. So, I was really happy with that. So let's see what else is in here. Hopefully it all comes out rather easily. Okay, this one's pretty nice too. Looks like we've got some metal beads and some turquoise blue beads. So that's a nice piece. And I will put, if I can find where I, ordered, <clears throat> where I ordered this box from, I'll put down below how much this box was. Because, you know, obviously that's important. Oh, we're going to have some tangles. A little necklace. I'm guessing probably faux pearls, but... Yeah, I'm guessing this is probably faux. It's very light, is why I'm saying that. People still love faux pearls. I probably wouldn't have bought that now. This I definitely would have bought now. People love bright colors. It does have a little bit of scratching. But yeah, that'll we'll have no problem selling that piece. I mean, just love that. A nice 60s vibe to it. And I do run Ooh, that one's gonna be an issue. Okay, we got a little beaded bracelet. Oh, it's got little skulls. I might just keep this one stretch got a nice stretch to it um these are just plastic but yeah love that any of these pieces that i'm like uh i don't know i do run one dollar sales on poshmark this is wood wood beaded big old chunky hunk of wood there on the end a little confused about that one so that would probably go through the dollars start sale braided not really braided i don't know what you'd call this handmade bracelet bracelet with some faceted beads Stretch is a little questionable. It does work though, so probably a dollar sale item. The key is for this to be more good items and fewer dollar sale items. Okay, I like this coin necklace, gold tone. That, that's a good one. That's one I would sell on eBay or Poshmark. This is a handmade little piece. It's got the Southwest look, but it just, you know, it's got like, it's not good beads. This is, yeah, I'll just, this would go through the dollar sale. A 
bracelet with little angels on it and it's new with tags little enamel angels that's good I'm gonna do a religious jewelry sale on um posh this is more Christmassy though so a little bit late on that but I can do it in the future little wire wrap bracelet that old stretch bracelet stretch is a little going on that one always check your bracelets before selling them Ooh, oh that's some loose beads cuff bracelet cuff bracelets are actually supposed to be pretty big this year so this is one I'll probably try to list it's Almost looks like it has a leather backing, faux leather, obviously. And um, these rhyme, or not rhinestones, but these little pointy beads. So I'll try to clean that up. Another little handmade bracelet, I'm guessing. Peace sign. Probably a dollar sale item. Of course, you know, if you've got like 100 items in here and you paid $50 for the box, you run it through the dollar sale, you didn't really do too bad. I mean, you didn't do great because if you're doing it on whatnot, you've got that transaction fee every single time, which really hurts. Glass beads, Milfiori. That's a good one. I think I may have some more boxes like this downstairs, so we may do this more than once if you all like it. Arrow cuff bracelet. Still has a tag on it. Rose gold tone. bracelet with little stones it needs to be really strong though oh we have a brooch oh yeah that's great vintage <laughs> Metal flower, smiley face. Yeah, that'll sell. I'm pretty excited about some of this, y'all. For sure, that's going to be hematite. Dyed to look like turquoise. It's a nice bracelet, though. That one will sell for sure. Ooh, I do hate that we have some broken beads. Or not broken beads, but... Ooh, what's this? Twist it into another necklace. Okay, there we got that out. This cloisonne bead on here is fabulous. It spins. So, yeah, I love that. So far, I'm pretty happy. This is just a little, I think this might be more of a head, yeah, this is a headband. Blinged out headband. I would probably put this on my Cory for like three to five bucks. It's got pond stones down the sides. I 
can't wait to look and see what I actually paid for this. Ooh, that's a mess. Ooh, that's a mess. Okay, I can see where this was going. We'll just see if it can still be what it was. Get twisted up a little bit. But you've got the wood beads at the top. And you've got the strands of seed beads. So yep, that'll be one on list. This wood and stone double strand necklace. Let me tell you why I really love jewelry. I mean, well, okay, obviously it's fun. And who doesn't love playing in jewelry? But also, and this one has come apart. So I could either redo it or yeah, I am missing one. So double on the parts bin. Okay, I love jewelry because it only takes one piece usually. Well, it depends on what you pay for the lot, but sometimes you can pay as little as, you know, not pay much and one piece end up paying for all of it or most of it. These are nice stones, nice and cold. This is Stella and Dot, but it's gonna have to be restrung. So I'll probably run that through the dollar sale. to be his butt <laughs> okay but yeah I'll definitely try to sell that or I may keep it I don't know beaded bracelet still got a thing on it beaded bangle of these and I have to unfasten it so I can get it out this style with beads and beads and fabric or beads and thread with this style closure and we have another faux pearl but that's not coming out of there at the moment. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, it's an earring. Probably put that in a chunky and funky tail. A really nice pendant. Porcelain. I think that's porcelain. say really nice but I don't know it's not really my style but I'm sure it's somebody's style oh I like this peace pendant shell bracelet nice stretch to it and then I'll probably put on Poshmark. And 
this one's missing a stone. This one is... I think this is Vera Bradley. But... Okay, they all said missing a stone, so... I'll just go into a crafter's lot. It's always good to have chains to put pendants on. A little anklet with a little locket on there. This isn't a bad box. This is just an acrylic. I would probably lock this up with other stuff. It's pretty though. pearl wrap bracelet a beaded leaf earring we have another tiki we have another tiki It's not too bad. Colorful wood beads. Not so long. That'll be a piece that I can sell. Wood bead earring. I guess that's supposed to be the infinity symbol. Bracelet. This one's got some, it's got some wear to it. It is some though. Oh, this is Trafari. I'll have to get the loop before I can see if that's crown trafari. No, I don't think it is crown trafari. It's just regular trafari. Ooh, look at this pink one. Hmm. Nice graduated wood bead necklace with a couple silver ones in there. Nice 80s look. Really big elephant. Hmm. How are you coming out of there? Oh, fairly easily. Nice big elephant. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Puka shell. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video, guys. But I can't wait to see what I paid for this and whether or not it was a good buy or <laughs> a really bad mistake. This is very small. 
necklace, but I love that pendant. It's a flower, lots of sparkle. Then this is just so cute. This little robot, somebody will buy this for sure. People love cute stuff. I know I sure do. I want something. Okay, here's some American flags, pins, or pin. This one has some wear. Probably run it through a dollar sale. Things that have wear, I like running them where I can, you know, show people very closely what the wear is and make sure you know they understand because people don't always read on on ebay or look at the pictures or you know just untangling Alright, this is a little cat saw bead bracelet or necklace. Really dainty. Silver tone. We've got this angel necklace. Gold tone. Got this incredible earring, which I hope I can find the other one in there. get it turned around oh there we go it's love it's got all these charms and chains guys i think we're gonna do a part two on this so if you want to come back well no i hate to do a part two because you know, I need to put down below what this cost. So we have that piece. Wood. Faux leather bracelet. Another wood beaded. Wood and stone. That's another one of those necklaces that I showed earlier. If you see anything in here you'd like, you can also always message me for a price. This one has quite a bit of wear. So I put that in the, in the craft lot. And if you are a crafter and like craft lots, hit me up. It's got some animal prints. Stretch bracelet. Oh, I love these disc necklaces. This is a wood disc necklace. With different stains. That's awesome. That'll go on Posh Park. A little stretchy white beaded bracelet. Untangling again. That's 
going to be the longest part of this video is the untangling. You know what? These two just want to stay together for now, so they're going to stay together for now. I have a black necklace and another beaded necklace. is made to look like. I don't know if this is actually mother of pearl or not. It doesn't really feel like it. Sorry, that's not the best look at that necklace. quite sure how this one goes but it's a black beaded with silver beads multi-strand another wood very nice wood to get good stuff out of here but also you know show you exactly what I bought so you can make your decision if it was a good buy or a bad buy again how much I paid will hopefully be down in the description box spotter ring adjustable Screw back earrings. That's always nice. Believe it or not, people do still love screw back and clip earrings. I don't know if that's a pendant or if it broke off of something. acrylic shells in green and cream. Nope, and an owl. People love owls. He's articulated. It's a necklace. This is an earring. shaped but I mean that's a big earring people love stuff that makes that sound put like cha-cha in your toddles when you've got pieces like that Looking this one over. I think it. I think it's pretty good. Um, tassel earring. That's going in the. There's the other one. It's going in the craft ball because it's just. Kind of icky. There's a little wooden dog. He's super cute. He was probably a float at some point or an earring or a pin or something. Wood beads painted. This one does have a chip. There is 
have another one of those. Just lot all those up together. Clip earring. Early honey style. Or late 80s. Bubble necklace, bubble bib necklace, trying to get it turned the right way. There we go. Those are like a dime a dozen. I ended up with a lot of those when I started buying jewelry. Okay, this was. a clip and a keychain and it would have had a cabochon or a cameo on there. Another Carved wood. An acrylic. I don't think that's bone. Earring. Some wear to the back. Hematite. Necklace with a broken cross. So that'll go in the craft panel. Oh, pearls. I do wonder if I'm often getting rid of actual pearls. Not with this lot, but I did sell some through my dollar sale the other day. They were knotted. Sold a few sets actually, and I'm wondering, <laughs> oh, did I mess up? I know you can like test them on your teeth, but that just kind of grosses me out. Okay, this is a hanging down necklace, but I can't get it to hang right. Nothing special. Earring. That's different. Like, not really different in a good way either. Oh, they're feathers. Feather earrings. I'm not run that through the dollar sale. And no, I don't just run junk through the dollar sale. <laughs> like I said, I may have just run um, actual curls through. And if I did, that's great. Because I'm. You know, I'm totally okay with people getting good deals at my sales. Oh, this is a little... Is it a bracelet? I think it may be a bracelet. I don't think it's a necklace. I think it's somehow a bracelet. Charm bracelet with a horseshoe. Earring. Another earring. 
lots of beads in the bottom and charms. Vintage Christmas charm. I'm not sure, but brooch. Cancer bracelet. Brace or glass necklace. In different blues. Having a winter blues sale in January on blue jewelry and accessories. On whatnot. Touch bracelet and amber tone acrylic. Oh, and then we have not the pile of a tangle in the bottom. looks like a lucky brand but it doesn't say on it so I'm guessing not a Pandora style bracelet it's got faith and a feather Cross, so I'll probably put that in the religious jewelry sale. Here's one of the hematot wrap. You can wrap it around as a bracelet, you can wear it as a necklace, whatever you want to do. beaded brace or necklace just black simple this has some of those wire necklaces which you know can be good but they can also be a pain to get unraveled unraveling jewelry or do you find it to be a pain this one is an anchor and a little acrylic charm tone <laughs> come on
over a chain. Like I said, chains are always good to have. Yep, this is a long video. be a really good one once I can get it cleaned up. And... This one is just really, really, really tangled. Talk to your jewelry, like, come on, let go. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's these pretty little blue orbs, really long silver tone. Some of this undone is going to be a nightmare. God, this is like a copper toned leaf on a satin cord. the rest of that Vera Bradley piece but somebody's gonna love that for the for the rhinestones and stuff yeah, it's a bracelet but it's all like tangled up it has wear on it not on a great chain but and see that's the thing you can take like you know a nicer looking pendant and take it off the crappy chain that it's on or rope or whatever and make it look a thousand times better another little cha-cha bracelet put that um, cross on this and it look a thousand times better with that instead of that black and then you've upgraded the, the necklace you've upgraded the pendant That's probably an anklet. I have lots of beads. Oh, here is a button. Brace like uh, is it a bracelet or an anklet or it's vintage. It's got some wear for sure. I guess it's probably supposed to be an anklet. Actually, I don't know if it is vintage. It has an R on the... It just looks very vintage. Because <laughs> it's worn. But it has an R on the clasp. I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to get out in this video. 
It's because of the tangle situation. People, if you sell jewelry, unless you're selling it like super cheap, like, let's say this box was like $20. Um, individually buy your pieces. Or wrap them in bubble wrap to where they're separated. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have irritated buyers that don't want to come back. If I have time, I'll go back and edit this video to take some of this out. But, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to have time with it being the holiday season. Okay. You know what? That's just one. Yeah, that's just one big old. See if there's anything loose in there <laughs> under that little bracelet. I think this is probably ceramic and not stone. Pretty good size bracelet, and that one I think is actually pretty good. Oh, we have another owl. Hearing. Lots of loose beads. <laughs> Lucky brand. Just a dainty little necklace with little charms. And a little. Oh, there it is. Another one of those bracelets. The stretch is going on this one for sure, but wow, that's pretty. Oh, I can sell that to crafters. multi-strand rope bracelet that has gotten kinked up. Oh, I think I got it unkinked. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a clasp, but there it is. I guess my fingers are getting really filthy, but that's part of dealing with jewelry. If you've ever worked in money, Same thing. Get filthy. It's a earring. May even be too. Oh, yep, that's both of them there. Is this gonna come out easily? Oh, yeah, hey, it did. Wow, this is like little crocheted flowers. This really long. This is awesome. Yeah, this will this will do well. I mean, it's really long. I'd probably say 34, 36 inches, if not longer. Yep. 
tail and then you get to the bottom it looks like this got it tangled up it looks like you've got some tassels with the flowers there's stone beads stone chip beads in there too that's yeah that's pretty cool I could get more of this stuff out of here for the video, but I'm probably just gonna have to deal with the rest of it later. Nice long beaded piece, but again, it is stuck. Well, here's some stuff I can work with. or anything so let me tell you you will learn to hate these little necklaces that have several multi-strand necklaces that are very tiny because wow do they tangle I don't think there's anything even on this little it's magnetic keep that one to put something on for sure. And hopefully this is just a bunch of little chains down here because I can always use chains. Here's a little doll. Mother of Pearl bracelet, double strand, dolphin, um, adjustable bracelet, it's nice. And if all this is is a big tangle of chains right here, that's fine. I can always use more chains for pendants. There's a nice little trick. You can buy lots of pendants for really cheap. You slap them on chains. You buy both separately. You know, a lot of chains and a lot of pendants. And then an inexpensive way to make some sales. I'm going to show you what I'm doing, but you can't see for the of a stand. Anyway, it's just a big tangle of chains. Let's see if there's anything else in here that wants to make itself known. Ooh. This is small on the other side. Lots of beads that are probably a pretty necklace at some point. Part of a necklace. Oh, 
keychains. Wool fabric piece fabric necklace with beads. I'll probably just put that in a junk lot. that necklace in there but getting it out it's another story This is some saint, a religious medallion in there of some sort. And there's this chain. This wire beaded necklace. I'll be honest, I may just after this is after I'm done with this video, just pop on to whatnot and do the dollar sale. But you all can see what's left in here. Um, it's just one big tangle. So that's this video. Sorry it was an hour long. I'll put down below what I paid. I think I've got some really good pieces to sell. So I definitely think I'll make my money back. And I did good for, you know, the beginning of my jewelry selling career. But let me know what you think. And... Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!